my name is Mike Hoffman. I uh, currently serve as the national chairman of the Order of the Arrow Committee. And there were just some great um, times that we all laughed and shared. And, um, you know, he was pretty well connected, right, back in, in Seattle, man. And he knew everybody, right, in the heyday of his business. So, I mean, I can remember regional committee meetings where, you know, he we'd walk into a restaurant and they'd say, Mr. Loader, your table's ready, right? They just knew who he was. He was a powerhouse in the Seattle business community for many, many, many years. Um, and uh, and still had time to do all this scouting stuff. So I served, uh, while he was chair, I was uh, the national vice chief and then uh, did some training things for him. Um, and then after that, it was Ken Galloway, then Eston Grubb. One of my best memories is um, just sitting with all of them, all three of them, and just asking about something and what would Erner Goodman or what would Carol Edson think? And um, those three guys all knew Erner and Carol, right? So Ken Galloway, Eston Grubb, but mostly Dell. Um, you go back to um, Dell, my understanding is Dell first met Erner Goodman at age 19 when Erner came to some official function in Seattle. Um, and they hit it off right away because of their love of the ceremony and induction. And so, so that permeated a relationship for life with Goodman and Loader, right? And I, I think they corresponded quite frequently. Um, and, and I think Dell was as good an emissary of continuing the, the principles and the thoughts of Goodman as any member of the OA committee, just because they knew each other so well and talked and had this bond in the ceremonies. So I think, uh, I, I, how, how cool is it for any arrowman, even the national chairman of the Order of the Arrow, to be able to ask somebody, so what would Erner think, right? And, and very often what, what the answer was that Erner was always just so, um, so thankful, impressed, overwhelmed at the momentum that the organization had post his years of leading it. Um, Dell would also often tell me that, but when Erner came to things, he always still was the founder of the Order of the Arrow. And he didn't want anybody to ever, to ever usurp the fact that he was the founder of the Order of the Arrow. So um, there, there, you could be the chairman of the National OA Committee, but you could never be the founder of the Order of the Arrow. And I always thought that, that was a great story that, that uh, Dell told. So, so there you go.